We are interested in the flowing properties of shear thinning fluids, especially fluid-like foods. We used a laboratory device, rheometer, to measure the relationship between the stress and strain rate of such materials. Plotting in a linear scale, we see that this relationship is highly nonlinear for various materials and can be nicely fitted via the herschel bulkley model. We have also set up an experimental system to investigate the flowing behaviours of various materials. Each specimen is loaded into a syringe and extruded through a nozzle. We recorded the footage using an iPhone camera. First, let's consider a blend of honey and mayo. Honey and mayo do not flow much because of their viscosity and yield stress. Counterintuitively, however, their mixtures appear much less viscous. This behaviour cannot be reproduced by linear blending approaches, that is, linearly blending the material parameters or randomly assigning to each material point either the honey or mayo material. A remarkable property is that the stresses of the mixtures of various mixing ratios are smaller than those of the constituents at the grey line where the stresses of the constituents coincide. This means that the effective viscosity of the constituents coincides at this point, but their blends have much smaller effective viscosities. We want to come up with a mathematical model that can be used to compute the blended states given the materials of constituents and their masses. We formulate the property of the blending process as a set of laws. Under these laws, there is a general class of the blending map G, taking only the material properties of the constituents and their mixing ratios as the input. Furthermore, this map G can be expressed as a linear blending in the space warped by an invertible map F. Our design of the blending model boils down to the design of this map F, acting on the set of parameters of the hirschley bulkley model. Based on a data-driven approach with a variety of materials covering different types of rheological properties, including polymers, suspensions, and those nearly Newtonian, we arrived at a model that has a good qualitative match in the behaviour of effective viscosity for more than two orders of magnitude variation in the shear rate. Here, we compare the captured footage, the simulations with the linear blending approaches, and the simulation with our model. Our model can reproduce the smoothly flowing behaviours of the blended states and provide more accurate flows than the linear approaches. Next, we blend mayo and Japanese pork cutlet sauce. Again, our model provides more accurate flows. Next, we blend honey and oyster sauce. Although our model provides more accurate flows than the linear approaches, there is a mismatch between the captured footage and our results, possibly due to the lack of surface tension in our simulation. Our model can be applied to a mixture of more than two materials. Here, we consider a family of honey mustard sources by blending honey, mustard and mayo. The comparison to the captured footage shows nice visual resemblance. In our work, we have focused on the material parameters of the hirschley bulkley model and used the same fixed bulk and the shear moduli for all examples. Here, we fix the Poisson's ratio and the hirschley bulkley parameters and show that the flowing behaviour is not sensitive to the Young's modulus. Now, we show the practical results. First, we simulated celery dips into mayo, mustard and their half-half mix. The thickness of the sources and their differences are nicely captured with our simulation. With a linear approach, the behaviour of the mixture becomes too thick. Next, we prepared a fluid consisting of a honey-like material and a mayo-like material. Without interaction, the fluid flows slowly. Blended with a spoon, the fluid looks less viscous and exhibit interesting dynamics. With a linear approach, the fluid appears more viscous. Next, we injected sauces towards a steak with Japanese pork cutlet sauce, barbecue sauce and their half-half mix. The Japanese pork cutlet sauce is more like a fluid. The barbecue sauce is more viscous. It comes down intermittently at the beginning and starts to coil slowly afterwards. Our half-and-half half mix flows more smoothly compared to the barbecue sauce, 
and coil stably. Again, with a linear approach, the behaviour of the mixture becomes too thick. Thank you.